Hello, everyone. Hello. It is another weekend. It's a Saturday, and we are ready to do some camping. Mm hmm. We're going to use our rooftop tent again for, I guess it's our third time. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go back to Glacier with one of our friends, and we're hoping to meet up with some travel therapy friends we also have from back home that we hung out with back home, but they're really from the east side of the country. There's a few places in Glacier National Park we'd like to go to um, that we didn't quite get to with the day in Glacier with my family. And so we're gonna go check that out and then we're gonna camp later tonight at Crazy Horse um, National Forest, which is just real close to Glacier and do some rooftop tent camping. We're about to go pick up our travel therapy friend. She's a travel OT, mm -hmm. Sarah. And she's bringing her camping stuff, so she'll have her tent and gonna kind of camp with us. And then, um, like Megan said, meeting up with their other travel therapy friends. So it is gonna be a like travel therapy reunion. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is really cool because there truly is kind of this cohort or this group of travel therapists out in the world who are who are doing what we're doing, and it's cool to relate to people and hear their experiences as you know, working different contracts, maybe some good contracts, maybe some bad contracts, maybe some weird situations. And so it's always fun to, to catch up with everyone. And this is a fun lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the perks. All right, let's go pick her up. All right, here we go. I need to introduce Sarah, because she's gonna be with us this whole time. It'd be kind of awkward. Like, oh, <laughs> Random Random this. stranger in the back. <laughs> I can just duck every time. <laughs> hey guys, so we picked up our friend Sarah, and she had way less stuff than we had to pack for <laughs> camping. <laughs> Because <laughs> she's a reasonable human being for a one night stay. Um, but now we're headed out to the park. Sarah's been to the park before, didn't know that. But she hasn't been on going to the Sun Road, which is like what you do at the park. So, <laughs> so maybe I haven't been to the park. Maybe not. So this will be fun. Anything to add, Sarah? Yes. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm excited. Cool. That's it. That's fun. So kind of the plan, tentative plan we have right now, it'll take us about two hours to get to the park from Plains. And that is where all of us work, a little town hospital here in Plains. Um, we're all travel therapists. And then, so it'll take us two hours to get to the park. And then the tentative plan is to drive the Sun Road all the way up to St. Mary's Lake. Um, that is where me and Megan, we did not go last time we went to Glacier we stopped at Logan Pass um, kind of see what's around there I think there's a little hiking trail and then go back down the Sun Road stop at Logan Pass to do the Hidden Lake Trail which we didn't get to do last time because there was too much grizzly activity by it uh, so we want to try that and uh, and then after we're done you know in Glacier and in the National Park we're gonna go to Hungry Horse uh, National Forest and find a camp spot and set up camp. So it should be really fun. Like, like, like anything open because it was the first weekend. Oh. But do you have your park yeah, pass? It's just. <laughs> <laughs> See, it should be in one of the front mm -hmm. pockets. Do you want me to forge your signature? Just put mine on there. This place has everything huckleberries. Uh, we've kind of zipped straight through the store to get to the huckleberry shakes because we want to try one. But I mean, they've got preserves, syrup, jelly, honey. Huckleberry coffee, huckleberry lip balm, huckleberry sunscreen, huckleberry oil for your car. Literally anything you could think of with huckleberry in it. Yeah. I think we need to get some for our family. This is next level. Barbecue sauce. Do you think it beats out St. Louis barbecue? Nah. <laughs> oh, 
We are back at Glacier National Park. Going round two, so here we go. Woo! -hoo. Well, we've got some friends waiting for us up by St. Mary's Lake, so we're gonna eat on our way up and enjoy the views. Well, but right now we're making our lunch. sandwiches. Sammy's. Sandwiches. Some raw eggs. Yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> each just crack an egg. It's gonna be a great car ride. We got mayo. Going to the Sun Road was finished in 1932, which is crazy to think as we drive on it now and it's nice and paved of like, what technology did they have to put a road on the side of this mountain? I don't know, crazy. They had their bare hands. Yeah, bare hands. The people who built the pyramids, they brought them over here. The mountains look like meringue. Like, little <laughs> That's a really good, Analogy. Should have packed a meringue pie. So you see the little people up on the cliff side here? They're like midway up this side. They're walking oh, yeah. along a path. So that's the, the High Line Trail. And we just walked it on the cliff edge over to here and then back. It's, yeah. it's all glaciers. It's all glaciers, <laughs> Whitney. It's really actually hard to see them. There's yeah. only like one or two where you can see them without hiking like 12 miles in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I so this is really cool. It's just past Logan Pass. Um, come down here to Sun Point. Uh, St. Mary's Lake is amazing. And this hiking trail has been great. And supposedly there's waterfalls we're going to. Yeah. Which that's one of our favorite water features. <laughs> Yes. The, it's kind of interesting. A lot of the trees around here are burnt. I guess there was a fire. But um, it lets you kind of see the terrain around you, which is sad that the fire happened, but an advantage for views. I guess. Advantage for views. And it's pretty windy today, so sorry about the wind noise. Yeah. You can only do so much. I can't control the weather. probably introduce you, you guys. We have people in videos that people are like, who are these people who are following you? <laughs> no. Or you're following them the whole time. <laughs> so hey guys, I'm this is Jared them. and Whitney with Travel Therapy Mentors. Hi. Hey everybody. We, um, they got to come hang out with us in St. Louis probably about a year ago. Almost exactly. Yeah, and so do you want to tell them kind of what you're about, what you're up to right now? Why are you in Glacier National Park? Because you're from the East Coast. Right. So we are also traveling physical therapists. We've been doing travel PT for about five years, but we don't work full time as travel PTs anymore. So we had planned off some time from work 
and then COVID kind of put a kink <laughs> in our plans. We were supposed to be in Central and South America, so instead we decided to do some um, just touring around our own country, around the U.S. So we're doing an eight-week road trip around the country. We're on the second week. We came from Virginia, we've gone up north, and then we're headed west from here. Yeah, so, so what are some of the places you've already hit? Yellowstone, Grand Tetons, uh, Michigan, Saw the Great Lakes, um, where else have we been? Badlands, yeah. Teddy Roosevelt National Park. Yeah, so we went through Michigan, through the Dakotas, uh, Minnesota, and then Wyoming, and now where are we? Montana. Montana. <laughs> Montana yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. you're and you're doing it all in a minivan. Yep. So we converted a minivan to be able to sleep in and kind of car camp. Yeah. So. Definitely good for some quick travel for a short stint. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. We yeah, wouldn't absolutely. live in it, but uh, yeah, 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 for a few nights at a time, it's good. Couldn't do full time, no. but. Yeah. And we used to do the full time RV life. You know, yeah. we did the fifth wheel, and then we sold our fifth wheel. So this is a little smaller, a little more compact, <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, it's been good. fun. And what have you guys thought about Glacier National Park so far? This is our favorite park so far. Yeah. Number, Number two, one. Grand Tetons. We've it's a to, close, close race, but I this is I think we've been beautiful. to 17 total, or 18 maybe now. 18. Uh, not on this trip. On this trip, I think we're on number eight, but we've been 18 total, and this is number one so far. All right, you guys have anything else you want to want to tell the people? Um, just, you know, explore. We have a really beautiful country. We've traveled outside the country so much, and uh, we've, been to, we've been to about 30 countries, and we think that, you know, obviously uh, traveling internationally is really fun, but we were amazed at how much beauty there is in our own country. So if you have yeah. a chance to get out to the national parks, definitely do it. Definitely. definitely. And Whitney was just telling me that another therapist that was here was saying that this waterfall over here, over our shoulder, is is the lesser of two more on the yep. hiking trail we still got to go to. We're supposed to see some really pretty ones on this hike. So. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get out there. Well, you're not going to find this in Missouri. I promise you that. We really make it seem like we hate Missouri. Missouri's not bad, it's just humid. Seriously? <laughs> this is so beautiful. And it's shallow right now. You could just like walk up through it. Oh, I think I see a waterfall down there. Oh my gosh. Waterfall oh. alert. Waterfall alert. Waterfall number two. It just looks like, it looks like the fountain of youth, or like, I don't know, it just looks amazing. Very blue water here at the second waterfall. Bridge that kind of goes across and you kind of look under, really amazing. right here yeah. cool down or warm up I guess it's really cold it was but like it's amazing when you get out 
It feels so refreshing. I feel like I can go hike more miles. <laughs> There's more waterfalls, I'm sure, here. So oh, I feel like it's a telltale good. sign that nobody who does it wants to go again. I would go again. I don't know, I would go. It's just, it's just <laughs> awful at first. It's pretty shocking. But at least it all happens at once. Yeah. yeah. You gonna go? Yeah. Megan's working out the courage to jump off into the into the little pool of water here. It's actually really deep and the water's so clear you can see way down in there. And the water is frigid. Oh my gosh! It's shocking, isn't it? That was like a really awkward job. Oh, she finally did it. She had to have some moral support from her friend. How sweet. I would have jumped in, but uh, I had to work the camera, of course. <laughs> What do you think so far? I don't think there are words that describe it, honestly. Pretty amazing. Beautiful. Still feels like a painting. You know, when I'm at places as beautiful as this, I'm always like, this is amazing. It's amazing. I just pick like one word and I just say yeah. it over and over for the whole trip. Because I, I don't have any other words to no, describe it. Say? There aren't the words. To like, no. I mean, you could go to this and say, this is amazing. You could go to the Grand Canyon. It's amazing. It's but amazing. they're different. I know. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta come. You just gotta come here. Check out Glacier National Park. Well, good, good thing you something. did practice. Exactly. You know, you would have ended up with a bear attack. Oh my gosh! Did it sting your arm? Oh yeah. And it like, even though it wasn't in my eyes or nose and mouth, it was still like kind of affected you. Well. A hiker was just coming the other way. We've seen about four or five what I would classify as beautiful waterfalls. And she just said about a half mile is the true Virginia Falls waterfalls. And she said it's the best one out of all of them. Now I don't know how that's possible, but she seemed pretty convincing. So we will find out. Falls. We've already seen like four falls already that were amazing in and of themselves. But this is the biggest one. There's a mist coming off of the edge of the cliff. There's natural air conditioning. This is amazing. And it's it is tall. Beautiful. Definitely worth the hike up to Virginia Falls. I didn't think any of the waterfalls leading up to here could beat the next one, and they all did. <laughs> they did. It was amazing. But they're all really cool in and of themselves. Like Definitely. All different. Some of the ones below here, you could like get in and swim and jump in. This one is like missing you and so big and amazing. So they're all cool for different reasons. Definitely. Yeah. A must-do hike. Woo! You go down to the Sun Point parking lot to start. That's where we started. Yeah. 3.2 miles. 3.2 miles to get here. So we'll do three miles back. It's a Sunday and I feel alright for the first time. Not a person, a place, it's a feeling that's all mine. For so many years, I wish to be here. I wasn't aware that I was so near It's a Sunday and I feel alright for the first time It's a Sunday and I 
feel alright for the first time 